Hello everyone and welcome to part number two of the 20k sub celebration and this war is about to end and I'm gonna show you the rest of the attacks that I haven't showed you on the first part so this is what they've done to our bases basically to start almost all of them and pretty big fails on almost all the bases in the town hall 9 so this clan as you can see got one 173 wins and we have only two wins but that's gonna be the third one and since we have a live attack so let's see it so it's gonna be a bit more interesting I assume he's gonna try going for three stars but we will see how that works so after this live attack we are gonna see the rest of the attacks that I haven't showed you so there's a lava in the clan castle it could be a bit annoying with that lava but I guess he's gonna have to use the poison spell for the lava pops after the queen shoots down that lava so king is still alive but he didn't get the queen so that's that might be a bit of a problem and now he drops the poison spell, but I don't think that it's going to work much. No, I didn't get the queen, so don't think it's going to work. I would choose I would choose some other path, but I think we will go to our attacks. I think it's gonna be a two star or something. So we've seen number 5 on the previous one and we're gonna see number 6 on this one. So that's gonna be a Valkyrie attack. This is the base. By the way I tried attacking it but I failed on it. And my queen went shopping. It was kinda weird. I don't know what they changed in the AI but the queen acted very weird. She didn't go for the closest building. She just went outside and ran away, like out of nothing. It was totally weird. My clanmates also watched this, and and this was weird as hell. So never mind. We got scary. We got the three star on this base. By the way, this was the first attack on this base. First of all, we got the three star, and then I attacked it and failed anyway. But. But I didn't really watch this attack because I was doing something else. So he's using the poison spell on the clan castle troops. And look how effective it is against the witch. It barely does any damage to the heroes or golems or queen or whatever it is there. And they're going through the whole base all the way to the top to take out the enemy queen. That's, that, was, that, was, that was pretty awesome in my opinion at least so now he's gonna use the queen ability and notice that he wrecked like 60% of the base with the kill squad and those valkyries and now the hogs are cleaning up some of the rest balloons from the bottom are gonna take out some of the defenses and Basically, this base is done and we can make it faster. And see the three star. There are Valkyries alive, balloons alive. What else is alive? So many things are still alive. The king is still alive. The king is with full health. That, that's, I would, I would call it an overkill. So, amazing attack over here. I guess you guys will have to watch it carefully and see how it's done. Because I'm not really analyzing attacks on this video, but, yeah, I think it's one of the best attacks in this war, no doubt. So let's go to the next one. So we haven't seen number 7, so let's see number 7. This is the attack by 23 and 71. He's always telling me that he really want to be in my videos. And I guess this is, this is the best chance because everyone, pretty much everyone are, are on those videos. So kill squad is going in and that's gonna be a hog attack. 
he's gonna drop that lightning and the poison I guess yeah on the clan castle troops and this poison spell really get, gives a huge advantage if you're not using dragons or something like that in the clan castle it totally kills anything witches wizards even does enough damage to balloons I think that the spell is probably the highlight of this update and the fact that it's an extra spell you don't have to bring you don't have to change spells it gives in my opinion a huge advantage even even if there's a dragon in the clan castle you can still use it on the rest of the troops so let's say in the worst case there's a dragon and two balloons in the clan castle so the poison spell is not going to be that effective against clan castle troops you can still use that on the skeleton troops and if you're using hogs and there are skeletons on ground it will be effective as hell because that's gonna kill those skeletons in two seconds and those are not gonna bother your hogs anymore so if you use it wisely as I said in the previous video you should take a poison spell in any attack you're doing unless you know that you don't need that for sure for example if you're doing a hog attack and there's a dragon in the clan castle with two balloons and the skeletons are on air or if you're doing an air attack and the skeletons are on the ground stuff like that so if you know that you don't have to, to take that poison spell but otherwise I, I really don't see any reason not taking a poison spell so this is magic's attack from the left So that's gonna be another hog attack, dropping the, the jump spell to get right into the core and into the queen location. King is going to last after the area is clear. You gotta make sure that they're not gonna go shopping and notice again that poison spell in action, taking out everything on the way except for the balloons and as well as those skeletons running right here right into the poison spell so the witch is gonna go down as well hogs are already in action from the bottom and the center area of the base is, is pretty dense so it's very it's very smart using the heal spells over there notice that the upper part is is a bit more open so he got an, another heal and he uses it in the west tower area and the base is going down, Queen is still alive, tons of hogs are still alive and I think that only buildings the only buildings are left for cleaning as you can see let's make it a bit more fast because we got so many videos to see and I'm a bit ill, my throat is sore but I'll still make that video for you guys so number 9 attacked by Loki by the way we got many 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 members that were in Crystal Warrior before and left because of the same reasons and they joined us back so we already got more than 40 members we got another member one of the best attackers in the clan in my opinion who joined us who joined us from Crystal Warrior and now he's gonna fight with us so basically I think that we got something like 95% of the original clan and some work and some more people that left during the last few months so I think we're going in a good way we're getting better and hopefully we can we can entertain you guys with our attacks and teach you guys the new stuff meanwhile not many got the haste spell and and everyone got the poison spell i think but not many got the haste spell yet because not everyone are jamming but soon enough we're gonna get it and we're gonna start the new strategies and I'm gonna try bringing you the new stuff from from other clans as well whoever invites me from the top clans I'm always happy to show what they've got 
and help the Clash of Clans community so the base is going down and we can make it faster. Probably some people just mute me and and watch the attacks. So I'll try not talking much because my throat is, is like that. So great attack over here by Loki. And let's go to the next one, number ten. By the way, we didn't clear yet number twelve. But we got enough attacks to get that done, so I'm not worried. So this one looks like a modification of the general base with the air sweeper instead of Tesla's. That's gonna be Alberto's attack. First of all, he's gonna lure the Con Castle, he's gonna do a hog attack, and in hog attacks, you Always want to lure the clan castle troops and take them out with witches and, and wizards and your and your queen. So there's a level five dragon in the clan castle and a balloon. And he didn't bring a, a, a poison spell. I think he didn't. It, it, I think he doesn't have that yet. Probably didn't jam the dark elixir factory. So, jump spell is dropped. King is gonna take out the queen. That that's the basic attack, the basic goho attack against the general beast. But that's definitely an interesting modification. Put the air sweeper. Put the air sweepers over there. So, bombs are in a pretty known location. The first two pair. The first pair is on the left and the golems tripped it and the second is on the right and I think the hogs are gonna run into it right now. But there aren't many hogs so so that's just fine. So he's gonna use no idea why. Oh he uses the last heels fall on the bottom, he got some more hogs over there and I think we can make it faster. It's not so interesting anymore. Just a long, long cleaning. I really hate those parts of the cleaning. I would make it even faster than than four times if it was possible. So great attack by Alberto over here. And we've seen number 11. 12 is not finished yet. We've seen number 13. We've seen number 14 in the previous video. And we haven't seen number 15. So that's the attack by Beam. And it's gonna be another Gohog attack. So three golems are used. Wizards are gonna funnel. Queen is down. So where are the wall breakers? Oh, they there. Are. So wall breakers doing their job. Jump spell is dropped. You get right into the core, and he didn't bring he he didn't bring the poison spell. The poison the poison spell would actually help a lot over here, but I think that the lightning spell done the job. I really think that it became easier for for taking out clan castle troops with that poison spell. So make sure to upgrade. I think it would be I would upgrade it. It would be the first upgrade I would do to max level from the from the dark spells and hogs are in as well. I think that there are no possible location for giant bombs and that makes this base an amazing target for hogs. So Few more defenses are left. Let's make it faster as well. I don't want this video to be one hour long or something. So I, I'll guess I'll hurry the videos once once all the troops are deployed. You you don't have to, you don't have any control on them anyway, so so it doesn't really matter. And let's go to the next one. Next one is gonna be number 16. We haven't seen it. Attacked by Chris. 
And this one is going to be another Gohog attack. This one with with the poison spell. And I'm going to show you one of my fails. The first time I could attack was like 5 hours before the end of war and the, the war was already finished. So I guess I didn't plan that. I did plan my first attack but didn't plan my second attack because it was it was already boring so kill squad is going from the south notice that poison spell getting rid of, of all of those skeletons the witch and whatever is there the wizards now we got the left pair of the bombs queen is down king is still alive Queen is with full health and he's going through the base, so I think that what those those replays can teach you is that you gotta focus on upgrading heroes because those level 20 and and above that really does really do a huge impact on the base. If you use them well and shield them well, they can take out easily half of the base. Only with the kill squad, and then you have you don't have a, a lot to clean, so this base is easily going down. Great attack by Chris, and the boring cleaning is left. So let me know in the comments who muted me. If you muted me, let me know in the comments. If I'm not gonna see lots of comments, then it means that you didn't see. You didn't hear my question and that means that you muted me. So if you muted me or didn't mute me, let me know. So I'll know for next time. I'll just play a video and don't talk at all. So this one is gonna be Logo We Wipe Attack by Sam and Air Defenses are pretty well centered, so but he's gonna have to wait until he gets the air defenses down before he can deploy the loons. There's a dragon in the coin castle. He doesn't have a poison spell. Doesn't really matter much, although it could help against those skeletons over there. And I think that this dragon do done a lot of damage to the king. And I think that no, no, the king is still alive and the queen, the enemy queen is down. So that's pretty good. So he starts sending a balloon from the right, and it that balloon failed because of the air traps over there. But now we got some wizards and the queen in the core of the base, and all he has is send the balloons from the left because there is no air defense over there, and wait for the right air defenses to go down. So now the queen is gonna take out one of the air defenses and the wizards took out the other one so he can go with the balloons and take out all of those outer defenses so great attack again and he got enough wizards for the cleanup with some goblins as well and this base doesn't stand any chance the queen is fully alive level 15 queen so you can you can take out bases with level 15 heroes as well. I think that's the minimum that you need to take out a max defense of level 9. So we've seen number 18 in the previous video, 19, 19 as well. And let's see number 20 by IMT. So he got pretty low heroes as well, 15 and 18. And he's gonna do a Lava Hound attack, no poison spell here as well. Kill squad coming from the north. I feel like I'm bro broadcasting some football match or something like that. Or basketball may match. I think it, it's pretty much the same. Maybe I should look for a new job. And, and broadcast some sports or something like that. So notice that he got like 
at least two air defenses and the air sweeper and one of the air sweeper in the upper part of the base and those are gonna be easy to take out by the kill squad and notice that the bottom air sweeper is pointed a bit to the right so if it goes from the left side I think or or just from the right side he's gonna be able to avoid that air sweeper so Queen ability is being used and I think she's gonna take out that second air defense yeah that was the last shot before she died and definitely a lucky one so notice those, those skeleton traps and this would be a good chance using a poison spell so all of us are deployed one balloon left he can drop it on that arch tower on the on the left side I think if I think he maybe forgot about it or maybe you want to use it for the cleanup or on the Tesla on the left or the arch tower in the upper part yeah on the Tesla so he's gonna take out the Tesla and goblins are going into action let's see it a bit faster the lava is alive but he still managed getting the three stars At the end of this video I'm going to show you one of my failed attacks. So what else? Number 21 was in the previous video. Let's see number 22, another attack by IMT. By the way we're doing interesting events. For example we have an event right now for 25k gems. I'm not sure if only one person earns it, but maybe the first three play three play places. I'm not sure. I don't remember already. But you get you get points for every attack you're doing, basically. So if you're doing more three stars, then you're going getting more points, and the winner after about twenty wars, I think, or fifteen wars. Not sure. The winner is gonna get tons of jumps, like at least 40, 40, 40k, maybe tw maybe all the 25k. I'm not sure, but if you're really good and you can do this kind of attacks, then feel free applying on the website. It's www.gadihh.com. You can click on the banner under the video as well. To get to my website or or you can find the link in the description after you're on the website all you need to go is to the join us section and fill in the form if you're accepted then you're you're sent to the feeder clan first prove your abilities there and then you get promoted to the main clan so that's basically how we work on recruiting we don't accept right away to the main clan you gotta know that because we don't wanna we don't wanna test members in the main in the main clan so in the main clan they're only pro proved proved attackers and I think it's worth for you guys if you're really good if you're from if you're in the top level of the game it's really worth for you you can win a lot of gems in our clan not trying to buy you guys but we're doing some cool events and I think in, I think it's it's worth joining us I forgot making this video faster because I was talking so much so number 23 I think we got three more attacks to show and my fail it's gonna be the last one so oh that's gonna be a town hall 9 on town hall 8 it's gonna be by cheap he's the one doing the events and I'm gonna run his attack on on double speed because th this one is not really fair so yeah that's pretty much it this base is gonna get crushed way too easily let's make it really fast 
because I do want to show all of the attacks, but showing a Town Hall 9 with almost level 15 heroes crushing a Town Hall 8 is not is not is not one of the fair ones. But you gotta do the job. That's the job, and that's what left you done in the clan. So same here, another Town Hall 8. I'm gonna make this one four times faster as well. Cheap doesn't have a poison spell. That's weird. I thought that he jumps everything, but guess not this time. Not on the mini account, at least. So this one is going down very fast as well. And we got one last attack left before I show my fail. Number 25, it's gonna be another Town Hall 8. So again, Town Hall 9 against Town Hall 8. Mog attack with few witches. No poison spell as well. So the golem and the heroes are gonna take out the king and basically there is no threat to the hogs. After that, so once this is over, we're gonna see the replay of my fail. So this is the one. I'm gonna go with the kill squad from the... Oh, by the way, that's the only base that we didn't clear yet. So I attacked it. So first of all, I'm luring the clan castle troops and I'm gonna tell you the mistake. First of all, notice that I dropped the poison spell only after, only after the clan castle troops got to that area. I should have, I should have thought where Approximately they're gonna stop and drop the poison spell before they get there, so that will save me that would save me save me time. I just ran ran out of time on this one. So now I'm waiting way too much to deploy the golems. <laughs> I was just watching the poison spell and notice how much time I'm waiting. But those are precious seconds. I would actually get this base, I think, if I wouldn't wait. So that was the second mistake on this one. And the third one is gonna be deploying the Lava Hounds again too late. So I think I was sleepy on this one. No idea why, why that happened to me, but I really could get this base in my opinion. Let me know your opinion on that. Maybe you think I couldn't get it. So Dragon is down, heroes are fully alive, jump spell is dropped, and I think that after taking out the Queen and that left air defense, I could start deploying the hounds now. So this was the right timing for deploying the, hou the hounds and notice how much time I'm waiting, losing. I think I lost like more than half a minute on my mistakes and that was the reason I ran out of time. So you gotta be really quick. By the way I'm using haste spell as well. Those are maxed haste spells for Town Hall 9. The first one I'm dropping is the Rage Spell. Oh, there's a fourth, fourth mistake. You want to use the Rage Spells in the in the core because Xbos are required more balloon traps. So this extra damage that those Rage Spells are doing are very important and it would actually help using that in the core and spreading the hay, hay Spells around the base. So. I actually got all of the defenses down and left with a useless haste spell. So I just used it over here and I thought that the balloons are gonna go to the right, but they didn't. And I really missed like, I don't know, maybe 15 more seconds to get this base. So that's a bit annoying, 91%. And I hope you guys learned from those mistakes I've done. You gotta work fast, you gotta think fast, you gotta deploy the troops first, you gotta be ready for everything. So I hope you like it. Celebrate with me, like, subscribe, and comment. Bring your friend, your your clanmates, your 
grandparents, I don't know, I don't care, bring everyone, they're all welcome and hopefully this video helps you with your attacks, more will be coming of course and hopefully we will celebrate again very soon, thanks again everyone for the great support, thanks again for, the, for my amazing clan mates, I really appreciate each one of you and that's it, wish us luck in the next wars and we'll see each other in the next video, bye bye.